time for us to relax as a nation, even as we embark on some very important national duties and obligations. This is therefore my personal statement uh, based on the NASA deal between, and I'm just quoting it as it was written, it does therefore doesn't mean I do not regard my brother as officially and uh, commonly referred to. But this is between Mr. Raila Amolo Odinga and Mr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, dated the 30th April 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin the fresh round of political negotiation in our country, leading to the August 2022 general election, I have been compelled to release the above document in order to answer in part some of the criticism that has been labeled against me with, and I quote, the indecisive kingmaker, end of quote, and the often quoted statement made before the NTV reporter, I believe that's my son Kennedy, to the effect that I would be a fool to support Honorable Ray Odinga a third time without a measure of reciprocity. In releasing this document, it is imperative to mention that I've tried it twice to have Professor Makao Mutua convene a meeting between me and my brother, Honorable Raila Odinga, in his capacity as the depository of this most important document. On his part, Professor Macau stands in breach of his obligation under the agreement since he has already joined Honorable Raila Odinga's campaign team. By accepting nomination of the Orange Democratic Movement to run as president for the fifth time, I believe my brother Raila Odinga has committed an irreparable material breach of this agreement. Now that's a legal term defined, I quote, irreparable material breach shall mean a repudiation, reneging, a violation, or an, an ouster in any way of any of the articles of the agreement. Attending the ODM delegates conference at which my brother was named a presidential flag bearer would have meant on my part a quiescence of the impugned breach. I wish therefore to state as follows. My brother has the option of abiding by the terms of this live legal agreement, live binding legal agreement, and thereby emerging, in my view, as a true national, regional, and indeed continental democratic hero, or he has the option of choosing to act in utter defiance and repudiation of the agreement and thereby compounding the trust deficit. In both cases, Honorable Raila Odinga remains a brother with whom I've labored in absolute good faith to bring true democratic change to our country. As already publicly expressed, I'm ready to work with him again under the three pillar